Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students, Victoria Chase. You're fucking joking, right? Victoria tried to cheat off me, and I stopped her. You should be thanking me. I think what my daughter is trying to say... Miss Price can speak for herself as she often does to her detriment. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf, and we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> the hell I was! I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. 
We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or- Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel- Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Go, Mom. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? He calls us high risks. High risks? What kind of a label is that to put on a child? Oh, <laughs> I get it. This is about Blackwell's money troubles. Will you be dragging every other scholarship student into your office today as well? Damn. Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price, I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. 
please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy... Victoria Chase. How fitting. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. I'm sorry for bullying Nathan. But if you had to look at that smug face as often as I do... I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year, with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No! I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price, Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. <sighs> hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? Fuck them. <clears throat> Bunch of fascists. Hey, uh... Just wanted to say... It 
sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Maybe Kim was the class I hated the least. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> imagery. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Finally, what I actually came here for. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you?
Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Another letter to Max. <sighs> that I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Max would have loved this shit. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. Fuck this place. Piss head much? That has to be Skip's car. That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. It's about damn time. David, please. Mom is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn, I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Gotta face my mom at some point. Might as well be now. Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Okay, yeah, bye, elitist Blackwell bird. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again, if I feel like it. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. I don't care. I know. 
That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me. Your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Are you still going to date my mom? Of course. And will you still be coming to our house? I... plan to. Then I say, go fuck yourself. That's what I thought. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom. I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry. But David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Sure. Here you go. Show me a warrant, asshole. You watch too much television. Your refusal to comply is as good as an admission. I admit to you being a fascist, and I don't take orders from fascists. What happened to trust being a two-way street? That was before you were expelled. Somewhere along the way, we lost our trust. This is not the way to get it back. Not at all. Okay. That's it? She's basically admitted her guilt. And you're letting her off the hook? I am not letting her off the hook. I am trying to find a way for us to move on. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling.
You're trying. I, I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run out. Again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so... awesome. I always wanted a pet snake, 
Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. This one won't work. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. Here we go, the pick of the litter. This junkyard is massive. I'll explore more after I take this battery back to the truck. Um, this thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit.
Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. I bet if I look, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> this might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Something. Don't want to leave yet. Now this is a Vortex Club, I wouldn't mind joining. Here's hoping for a holiday miracle to light up my ride. Better head back to the truck. No, not going over there. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so... awesome. Better head back to the truck. Don't want to leave yet.
Better head back to the truck. Better head back to the truck. Not sure what's wrong with the engine, or how to fix it. Not yet, anyway. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Not sure what's wrong with the engine, or how to fix it. Not yet, anyway. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Better head back to the truck. Better head back to the truck. Don't want to leave yet. Better head back to the truck. Better head back to the truck.
Not sure what's wrong with the engine, or how to fix it. Not yet, anyway. Better head back to the truck. Better head back to the truck. Better head back to the truck. Don't want to leave yet. Not sure what's wrong with the engine, or how to fix it. Not yet. A vast, or whatever. I guess that's a hole in two.
This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Bryce, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Does your truck look like a Christmas party on wheels? Yeah, didn't think so. The inaugural truck tag. You only get one chance to make a first expression. This'll give intruders something to think about. What do we have here? Yep. This'll do. Shit. I slept all day. What the hell?
dad. <laughs>